Did Walker want children? Yes, he did want children. He needed heirs. If he didn't have heirs, the fortune goes away, right? Absolutely. When he passed, as the biological parent, you had an opening to re-enter those children's lives. And you were spring-loaded and you seized that opening. You went to that house. Tell me about that thing. Oh my God. I had set up two ambulances. I knew in my heart of hearts that I wouldn't be able to take my children with me because of the extreme parental alienation that had gone on for over a decade. And how did they receive you when you pulled in the children? Georgia had boulders that she was thrown at this windshield. She did crack the glass in three different places. I understood you were throwing rocks at the car or boulders. Is that, have you got an arm on you? I mean, how far were you throwing these boulders? She like destroyed a vehicle. It was like, I didn't destroy her vehicle. It, it, it was like, like, it looked like a shotgun blast on every side of the vehicle. And they're throwing rocks at the car because they've been told you're evil woman. Right. They were told that I am the severe uh, drug addict, alcoholic prostitute living on the street, that I had no home, that I never loved them, never wanted them, never cared for them. That is what was put into their heads for many, many years. I thought she was everything my dad said she was, an alcoholic, drug addict, I think he called her a, a hooker, I believe. So he told you, tells you all this stuff. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. And so naturally, you had a negative reaction. <laughs> yeah. They are totally poisoned against you. Yes. It's like, oh my God, that's please why, don't make us go with her. That's why I had to get the ambulance. I was afraid that if I didn't get him off the hill, that I would never get them. I had them transported to WBI which is Wyoming Behavioral Institute. When I first started working with the children, they were very small and frail. They had a lot of dark circles under their eyes. They were very underweight for their age and their height, and just very mistrustful of any of the adults that were trying to help them. During the time that you're able to start you know, laying groundwork and building a bridge back, overcoming their perceptions, there were some moments for each one of them that kind of let them know, this doesn't sound like the woman we've been told about, right? My children were in there for three months. I never gave up, even though they were really upset, pissed off, angry, wanting to know the truth, not wanting to see me. But I went there every day trying to see them. 